So before today's releases we have one ninja that appeared, apparently some kind of traveling application where you discover museums or various interesting things in the world. Ooh. It's like those, oh geez, those kind of shops that sell antiques, I don't know how it's called though. Hand tracking is available, well not today then. <laughs> we can visit Sorolla Studio, Tokyo, Church, we only have four environments to discover, alright. They better be high quality because for that price? Hmm. We are at the start of the 20th century, a place in the heart of Madrid, an oasis. Wait, what was that? <laughs> a phantom? We can move around, which is nice. Everything is 3D modeled, like you're actually in the place. The room is elegantly. Okay, I have to step on it. The room is elegantly decorated because it was also used for exhibitions and commercial meetings. At that time, artists created their own galleries, displaying elements which demonstrated their good taste and cultural level. Some of those artifacts were gifts from his friends, while others were acquired by... What's interesting is that they even modeled like the <laughs> extinguisher stuff like that. Is it true photogrammetry? I don't think so. Some sort of a 3D scan of the environment, but I'm not sure in what way. Is it actually handmade in like Unity or Blender? I mean, I, I, I'm not sure how the graphical programs work, but everything is 3D. Even this here, it's hidden behind the actual glass. Wow. We are immediately invaded by a sensation of immersion in summer light. Everything is about to see beauty and tranquility with fabrics in their shadows wafted by the breeze. The lumin- But this is 2D, those presentations, so... Initially I was like, what the hell? Ghosts? I can actually pick up things. Huh. And spin things, interaction. Yeah, very cool. I think Tokyo might be a fun idea to explore. Hmm. Oh god. Hi. We are in the Sangenyaya Triangle, as locals affectionately call it. These are among the most <laughs> ubiquitous objects in Tokyo. They are everywhere, just doing their job. If you see them, don't ask questions. Japanese people always respect signs. Simple and effective. Westerners might think they're for roadworks, but here, it could be for anything. <laughs> it's so interesting that I can just pick up things. Usually you don't have like interactional objects in the exploration because it's hard. And it's usually 2D, so. These kinds of places can be seen as glimpses into the past, where narrow alleys immerse you in a completely different environment remembering bygone years when Japan was rapidly growing. There is a real joy in discovering places that have survived urban redevelopment. Visiting these alleys provide a window into Tokyo's urban transformation and how these houses and buildings survived the construction boom. Mm. I wish one day I would travel to Tokyo. I think it's just so much my culture. They are all over the facades. Air coolers are an iconic image of Tokyo. They create a postmodern suburban vibe that contrasts with the traditional architecture. Huh. Yeah, it is kind of like just exploration, getting to know the culture, those kind of vibes. Oh wow, what the hell? <laughs> it is this high-end physics for graphical cards in the PC, <laughs> okay. Oh. Postcard? And before I get jumps card. Yeah. Out of my way. Oh, come on. <laughs> There are hundreds of stickers on all kinds of surfaces. 
It's a means of urban communication that deploys icons all over the architecture, adding to an area's personality. Hmm. Yes. A vast majority of these businesses open late in the afternoon and welcome workers from offices and local businesses. They are a great place for cheap yet good quality food and drink, and there is a wide variety of colors and atmospheres. This area is a maze of shops, bars, and alleyways populated with mostly narrow, two-story buildings whose adverts, posters, and lights combine to make a truly unique environment. Ah, I wanted to throw a bottle at you. Are sometimes stored outside for the. It is a big area. Hot damn. Oh my god, behind me. <laughs> Between the late 1950s and the early 1970s, Japan built oh, more than I know exactly how it feels like. It's like you have a tour guide with the just environments to explore. That's exactly it. All right, well, for only four places to go, it might be a little bit of an expensive one. There are some things that I've not seen so far, which is like 3D modeling in the environments that you actually can explore and move around. I mean, freely because we could move in certain ones, but here's like a full on step-by-step -step things in those places. I'm assuming more museums and interesting places is gonna be added in the future, though for lunch, I'm not sure if it's enough, but I appreciate the work put into it because there is some for sure. Sure.